Namaste. So yoga needs no real introduction. In the modern world today, yoga is seen as a physical practice or a way to build strength and mobility required to get into difficult poses, or sometimes also it's seen as a way of relaxation. However, in ancient Indian traditions and scripts, yoga is a much deeper science. Yoga may have its origins back to pre-Vedic Indian times, originating in the Indus Valley civilization. Yoga has also been referenced in the Vedas, in the Upanishads, which are the ancient Indian texts. And there have also been some books written about yoga. So since there have been several texts or scriptures defining yoga, there have also been several definitions of yoga. One of the famous uh, scripts written about yoga is called the Yoga Sutras by Sage Patanjali. So as Sage Patanjali has described, yoga is yoga chitta vritta nirodha, which means to control the patterns of the consciousness. So what is the ultimate goal of yoga? The ultimate goal of yoga is moksha or liberation. It's the liberation from your ego, from your identity, from your senses, from external objects in order to reach the state of samadhi, which is the ultimate state of concentration and focus where you can see your true self. So how do we get to this state of liberation or moksha or samadhi? There are several paths to yoga and they can be broadly classified into four paths. So there is karma yoga, which is yoga through selfless actions. There is bhakti yoga, which is yoga through devotion. There's jnana yoga, which is yoga through knowledge. And there is raja yoga, which is yoga through practice or the practical path. So in the Yoga Sutras defined by Sage Patanjali, he talks about the Ashtanga method or the Eightfold method of Raja Yoga. Step one is Yama, which are abstinences that you need to maintain. Step two is Niyama, which are observances or the ways to conduct yourself in society. Step three is Asana or posture of the physical body. Even though in Patanjali's description, he talks about the seating posture as asana, the later forms that originated from Raja Yoga, like Hatha Yoga, mention various other asanas. So asana being the third one. The fourth one is pranayama, or control over your breath to be able to tap into your vital energy of prana. The fifth step is pratyahara, which is abstraction from the senses and from objects around you. Sixth step is dharana or concentration. The seventh step is dhyana or meditation. And the eighth step is the final goal of samadhi. So from Raja Yoga was derived different forms of yoga such as Hatha Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, Tantric Yoga, some of them that you may have heard of. If you would like to see any other videos on yamas, niyamas, on the sutras of Patanjali, uh, please let me know, drop me a comment and I will try to make those videos for you. In the next video, I will also talk about what is Hatha Yoga, what is Vinyasa Yoga. So I hope today's video gave you a little bit of information about the origins of yoga, what yoga is really about, the sutras of Patanjali and Raja Yoga. Thank you.